come true And I wonder If you know Why it means What it means Ten of them Ten of them Ten of them And I wonder If you know What it means What it means And I wonder If you know What it means To find your dreams And I wonder I've been waiting all this My whole life Life This is a track stars exclusive here. Deceitful is mixed with good These gangsters is praying outside I'm seeing you pray for my life I'm needing this grace to survive Flashbacks to the class act I didn't pass that long test Don't press me I'm a prestige example Of a candle in a dark room When it's built to When it's smelled to On your lunch bread I'm from that Had dreams of the devil coming from me But the living God is a God who sees And the living God had his guard on me So just pardon me If I feel the need to speak my peace On every street Every corner where it's liquid From marijuana where it's fiction And paranoia Share my joy and have him joining With the mission to be a boy Shake the earth, I made a choice I'm a person, gave a torch You can't take this here from me It's my turn, eternity is at hand And not in seen, hands of Jesus Set me free, can't no evil Stop this here, give me power Take my feet 
fear Like that fire in my soul And refine me till I'm gold Oh, and we ain't never had nothing I'm from a violent home in my hood don't play You from the bottom, you done seen the struggle What can I say? You can't take this from me Got a mob in these streets. Hope you prayed up, cause you pray to us. These wolves ready to eat. Showing teeth full of diamonds. Baby, that's the disguise, a distraction. I'm just hoping you don't look me in my eyes, cause I'm focused on the paper. That paper that be my calling. If I can just die the pen, I'm me and baby, I'm balling. Sky is the limit and money we trust. Foolish mentality given to us. Die in a pool full of women and us. Touch one of mine, I'm ready to bust. Yeah. And we live from HP. Whips and chains still abound, but they thinking we free. Still on that ship, they call it a yacht. House of Gamora, they call it a lot. Give them the truth, they beg you to stop. That's why I'm out there giving all that I got. Yeah, some of you suckers don't love it. <laughs> but you can't take this from me. You can't take this from me. You can't take this from it. All in. Can't take this from it. All in. Can't take this from it. Hey, what's up? This is V Rose from Clear Sight Music. I'm in the field with the track stars. He said he don't want to face it. Turned his back on his girl. Skip town without leaving any traces. So sad kind of world, ayy hey. Got you mad at your life, ayy hey. hey. Sitting sad, acting like you don't care Like you don't care Like you don't care Like you, like you don't care Like you don't care She said she'll never need a man On the dollars in his hand But let me tell you this When no one Living life on the run The only money that he gets is when he takes it Gotta provide for his son, ay Now he's mad at his life, ay Mad at God thinking that he don't care That he don't care That he don't care That he, that he don't care That he don't care He said he'll never see the gates Gonna live his life in hate But let me tell you, wait, me no
You are listening to the Track Stars with Sean Tanner, Ryan Righteous, and DJ Jeremiah. Yeah, back in the field with the Track Stars, Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. What's going on, man? It's been a good week, man. It's been a good week. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, yeah. One of those days where, uh, you know, fatigue and all that good stuff. We haven't, we haven't seen vacation. you in a while. I'm, I'm on vacation, so that happens when you're on vacation. You, you start to start to lose focus of what's going on around you and you don't make many good decisions that's that's me today okay how you doing over there dawson's we were struggling for a minute but we all right we all right mm-hmm. by the grace of god we good that's what's up, man. Oh, great week, man. A lot of good stuff this week. Um, thank you to everybody who's been um, talking to us on Twitter, man. We really, really appreciate yeah. it. You guys are yeah. the best. You guys are the best. Um, and, you know, for everybody that uh, that doesn't know, you can tweet and vote on Line for Line. Thanks for uh, Brandon for asking that question. Yeah, yeah, you could tweet today and vote on Line for Line. Also, make sure you send in your beats to the producer's corner. If you're a producer that, you know, needs some exposure. Send your beat to the track stars, and we will put it up on our SoundCloud. Hopefully get you some attention. If you're an artist, go to the um, producer's corner on our website and check it out. See if you like any of the beats. Man, shout out, only one, so. shout out to Joshua, man, who uh, <laughs> wrote us on Facebook <laughs> and was just like, uh, man, track stars radio show has changed my life, man. Helped me get closer to Christ, man. So, you know, whenever we see stuff like that, man, that is always... Uh, something we would love to, you know, retweet and share. So whenever you have something to say um, about the show that's ch- positive, you know, the positive, the positive, we get the negative too, but the positive, um, then definitely share that with us, man, so we can retweet that. Yeah, man. So follow us on Twitter. Thank you to um, also everybody who's been filling out our surveys. We got one for FMG. We also got one for Track Stars. And the good thing about it is, if you fill out those surveys, it really gives us a lot of feedback to help us make our show better. We did this last year in January, and your feedback helped us create noteworthy. Helped us create dissect. It helped us trim off a couple of segments that weren't working. So, I mean, it really matters. So we really sit down with your, your responses and see what, what um, we need to do better. So go uh, to trackstarsradio.com. Go to contact us and hover down. You'll see the survey there. Or go to fmgmp3.com. And you'll see a survey section on that website as well if you want to participate. Let me ask you this. Have we shared anything about us being nominated as a radio show of the year? No. Yeah, we need to do that. We're not good at talking about ourselves. Very modest. You know, that's just what we've been taught, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think, I think, what is that? We forget. We forget. We, we, <laughs> that's, that's okay. <laughs> well, sure. anyway, uh, holy hip hop dot com. No, that's <laughs> not it. <laughs> you tried to save yourself. <laughs> Sorry, crunk for Christ. Crunk for Christ radio dot <laughs> com. Has nominated us. <laughs> That's why we don't do this. We're not good at <laughs> promoting ourselves. Uh, has nominated us for Radio Show of the Year. That's awesome. We don't know how you vote. We don't know how we got nominated. We don't know how we got nominated. But we appreciate it. But we appreciate it. Is Echo in the room? Oh. You hear that? <laughs> but we're going against. I don't know. We're going against. Probably Wado. Probably Wado. We're Chris going Chicago. against. Yep. DJ Will, maybe. DJ Will, quite possibly. Um, um, uh, man, uh, Yacht of the King Radio, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. And uh, it was another one. Um, uh, man, I can't think of it right now. Yeah, there's a ton of great uh, yeah. radio shows yeah. all across the nation, man. But we stand alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know what? I love I love the unity in this in this genre, man. Like we can support, we can yeah. say each other's names, and we can yeah, say, we you can. know, go listen to Wado Radio. Oh yeah, great man. great radio. Go listen. Yeah, to, he, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Most of these uh, radio shows started around the same time. We we started what 2006, seven. We were that six time. on MySpace, but seven. He doesn't like to count that year. Um, but we started in 2006. Um, and so did a lot of the other shows started around mid mid on uh, 2000s and when we started we really just started the show to try and get positive Christian music a chance you know what I'm saying we saw a lot of great music at the time honestly before we started our show there wasn't Christian music was in a weird state it wasn't very popular it was it was verging on lame 
And we were really hoping that God could change the music and make it viable. And mind you, this was just when Lecrae was getting started. You know, there wasn't that culture of great Christian hip hop, even though there were a few. There were a few. Jeremiah corrects me on it. But <laughs> <laughs> as as a whole, it wasn't a good look. Um, and Lecrae did a lot of work. And if it wasn't for the radio stations and the media outlets that supported that movement, it wouldn't be where it is today. Lecrae did his thing, but it also took all the radio shows playing the music. It took the magazines and the and the websites putting yeah. it on. And it's been building since that time. So what you see today has taken a lot of work. Yeah. So yeah, that's why yeah. we always shout out DJ Wado, DJ Will, all, all the radio shows yeah. across wherever, even overseas as well. We've been working really hard at this to make sure this music has a chance. And this is like step one. Step two is for it to go past us and make it on to, to the Breakfast Club yeah. and to, and to um, who else? I don't know. Hot 97. Hot 97 and, yeah. and, and uh, what's it? Ricky Smiley and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's where the music needs to end Big up. Boy. We're just a stepping stone to get there. So that's the goal, man. That's what all of our goal is, is to make sure the music gets into people's ears so that it has a chance to change their life. Because I know a lot of you guys listening, you hear this music and it changed your life in some sort of way. It gave you um, the courage to be a Christian when all your friends weren't Christians. I mean, it's, it's really serious. Like, it does a lot. So we want to get that music in the hands of people that don't know about it or think they know about it and they don't really, really yeah. know. So. Sound off. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, first up, sound off. Christian viewers at HGTV are up in arms after the network announced that they have decided not to move forward with a reality show called Flip It Forward starring conservative Christian twin brothers who are openly opposed to abortion, homosexuality, and no-fault divorce. Faith Driven Consumer, the group behind the I Stand with Phil.com movement, um, has played a key role in the return of Phil Robertson to Doug Dynasty, is now throwing their weight behind the Benham Brothers with the hashtag flip this decision movement to bring the brothers back to HGTV. Sound off. I really don't like when Christians appear cliquish. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't like when they support each other on something that is they're going against almost it's almost like a a, a hatred that they're they're trying to uh stay on the other side of you know what i mean no okay i didn't think you did <laughs> basically what it sounds to me is like you know when you say conservative christian you're really talking about a group of people who are openly opposed and don't care that people don't care whose feelings they hurt or who they offend so you disagree with what they're doing I don't disagree with what they're doing. I disagree with the way they're like starting all these movements, like the whole Uncle Phil thing, or uh, that was not Uncle Phil. Yeah, Phil Robinson thing. I just don't like when they appear clickish. Oh, Uncle Phil thing. (laughs) But but you know, the reason they're doing that is to kind of go against like Glad and all these other organizations that have a lot of muscle behind them because they are organization and they can make changes in the the media. So you gotta you gotta band together and make changes. Yeah, moms again. What it was a thousand million moms or a hundred moms? What's that website? I don't know. Where you you could sign a petition for different things that they did. We we supported it when um that show MTV Skins was on and they had this big petition. Oh going yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the same thing. Uh, that's different, but I, the way I see it is it, is it becomes clickish and it becomes um uh it airs on the side of controversy that I don't think Christians should be on. So what would you do? Would you, do you for the people who got kicked off the twins what would you do to help them get their show back well i don't know i mean to me that's when you separate the uh i I think they are automatically put into a category where they they're they're the assumptions already been made about them so he's like forget them yeah they get put into a republican category and people Wait, try is that to, a Republican category or a Christian? When you category? say conservative Christian, most people are thinking they're. Uh, it's and I'm, and I'm talking about in society, we would separate that by Republican, Democrat, and I think what they're doing is they're they're kind of lost in between a, an assumption. That's how I feel. Wow. I watch enough politics to know that that's that's the, the side that most people are going to put them on. And <laughs> okay. <moving on. laughs> Russian President Vladimir Putin signed off on a new law that bans swearing at arts, cultural, and entertainment events in the country. 
According to a state news agency, individuals caught using foul language face a fine of up to $70, while officials can be fined up to $40 and businesses nearly $1,400. They face a higher fine and a three-month suspension of business for repeated offenses. Sound off. I heard Prince was moving there soon. <laughs> I, saw I saw him say something about that. No, right. I'm just joking. Oh. <laughs> you, can't, you can't legislate morality. I saw him say he was going to stop cussing now. Yeah, he did. The whole, the whole situation is kind of weird. You can't legislate morality. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that situation all that well. I mean, I know what I watch on, on CNN and what they say, but that situation I'm not really familiar with. I mean, I know that they are. I know that they had a situation with the Olympics, where they were not allowing openly gay people to come in and and talk to their people about trying okay, the movement <laughs> yeah um i think it goes along the sides of what i just said which is you know maybe we should make it a topic because i want people to understand what to i'm saying it's a topic that's yeah. the only reason i keep cutting that you off like Ryan time for that. it sounds like it's on the side of hate to me like the, the the olympic thing but this is a little different still it's just really weird yeah i think i think jeremiah got it it's, you can't you can't legislate morality but i wonder if there's something we can learn from this because in a way that's what people would say about us right now with the whole gay marriage thing that we legislate morality so well, i'm talking about to the the entire country you it can't you can't it was to that. the entire country well i mean yeah you're right but if i mean it's, so they're basically saying anybody on the microphone can't swear right so what, if i'm in my chair of, and i want to cuss i can cuss what like, movies <laughs> are you watching what like they about to ban everything from america coming to oh America. yeah i mean <laughs> that's all well, they need to do that. they're going back to silent movies Oh, they need to do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's interesting. I think what everybody wants is for their society to be pure. Um, but I don't know if you can force people to be pure. Like, they have to yeah. want to be pure. So, you just encourage them. All right. And speaking of being pure, number three, Justin Bieber is rallying behind Maryland based Christian rapper Brandon Burke who hopes to inspire 1 million pledges for God on social media with his music video. Burke, who seems to be one of Bieber's spiritual mentors, recently released the video called The Pledge, where he delivers a rapping sermon while Bieber talks about God's forgiveness and grace toward the end of the video. Sound off. And then you see Justin Bieber's strip club scene, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's forgiveness and grace? Cool, I'm that's, on. That's why he preaching forgiveness and grace. Yeah, put I mean, me on that. You know, that's the hot topic. Who's Brandon Burke? Is he, I have no idea. Is he like, I mean, I know it says he's a, a rapper and a, a preacher or a pastor, but I'm like, has anybody heard his stuff? Does he have curious. a Does he have a different name that he goes by is the other question. <laughs> does he have another name he goes by? Brandon Burke. You have a sample of his music, Miss Grant? On the ones and Interesting. twos. Interesting. I'm just curious to see if the brother's good because he's drawing a whole lot of attention. I'm gonna need him to represent as well. I mean, if, like two more if Justin Bieber, <laughs> if Justin Bieber that has would be cosigned, a problem. we talked about how important thirty years cosigns. later. We talked about how important oh, cosigns chilling. are. <laughs> cosigns are important. So if he's being cosigned on by Justin Bieber, then that probably the need to be good. Yeah, that. He does. Uh-oh. Put a cross set on no. rise. Put it in the mic. The same truth you were standing on scaring you. The same proof you was built on burying you. The prayers and the principles, the only thing carrying you. Don't let them die because your destiny is tearing you. Nobody else signs. He's not bad. He's good. He, likes he is pretty good. He light skin, is that what you said? How long you been in the game, I wonder? <laughs> Y'all know? This. Yeah. Okay. What, what you that for? Oh, I told you. Thank God the, the cameras aren't on right now. Yeah. Hold on the pass. I don't understand you. Today. So that concludes sound off. <laughs> Let us move on. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Yo, we're just there for do it and do life. Make you see me? I got a slow down. Stop for a second. Take a look around. And I gotta take time to hear that little voice inside Saying I came to give you life So spread your wings and fly I got a secret to share You are enough to change the atmosphere So go and do life 
time for the entertainment report with Jeremiah. Hey, every <laughs> y'all, funny. Hey, everybody, entertainment report time. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, um, shout out to Lecrae, man. He's gonna be performing, um, on BET Fan Fest. <clears throat> Um, he would be he would be um, rocking the stage at BET's Fan Fest as a part of the Music Matters lineup. The free Fan Fest, Fest is a part of BET Awards Weekend, which is in June and will take place at uh, um, LA Live. BET is calling the entire weekend the BET Experience. So I'm sure if you watch BET, you've probably seen that they have this thing called the BET Experience where they talk about different artists, mainstream artists. Mary J. Blige or these other people are doing it, um, performing that weekend. So he's part of that festivities, man. So that's a big look for him. Lecrae keep knocking down doors, man. Like he really is knocking down doors. I my, my thing is I just I just hope that um other people they they see other people as well. You know what I mean? Because there's so many talented people in the whole um, Christian hip hop community. Um, you know what I mean? Another story is um. Thank you for my wife. Um, Lifetime is doing a show on Jesus, but the silent years of Jesus. Got you. Okay. Y'all know what I mean? I'm seeing silent yeah. years. Mm-hmm. 12 like to 12 to 30. to 30. So, me and I had a conversation about it like, how is that going to work? Are they making stuff up or? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, but like, how could you, what would you say about that? Like, I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, something happened. So yeah, but you you have to make it up, just like they're gonna have to make up stuff in the David and Goliath movie too. Yeah, I mean, I know that, but what I mean, like, even with the, even with that, even with the Jesus story, like, it, would you be mad if it's like somebody, like, if it's Jesus? Only if it doesn't match the sentiments of when we did hear him talk, right? It gotcha. has to match that. But I mean, saying? at the end of the day, somebody would be like, you don't know. So how could you be mad about something? You like know that, that if it, know if it's was, contradictory yeah. to what he did say, yeah, that's yeah. when you would be mad. Well, before or you know after, he didn't sin though. You know he lived a perfect right. life, right? If there's if, anything if there's that any contradicted s- what the Bible actually said about him, then there's a problem. I see what you mean. I but yeah, you mean. if sort of dialogues, something he may have said to his mom, you could probably make that up and not get get yelled at. But I mean, they they gotta they gotta come up with. St- Stories. I yeah. mean, if this is a series, this is a stories. Yeah. So the question is, what is the... It's going to be like Smallville for um, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Smallville for Jesus. There you go. That was from my sister. <laughs> Smallville for Jesus. All right. All right, man. Um, my last story is... Um, you've heard of the BET channel. you heard of... Um, Logos channel, which is the lesbian gay channel. Coming soon to a television near you will be the atheist television channel. All right. All right. <laughs> you heard it here first. Cool. Uh, American Atheist announced that it will launch the world's first ever TV channel dedicated exclusively exclusively to atheism. Offer content 24-7. The group is looking to partner with the organizations, including the Richard Dawkins Foundation. We're going to TV because it's part of our strategy of going to where we are not. And that's unfair. They um, got every other channel. <laughs> Really? They don't need a new channel. They got every other channel, <laughs> including BET, <laughs> MTV, Lifetime. Um, there's a lot of potential here from televangelists to Christmas specials. There's plethora of religious TV program to choose from. With Atheist TV, we're filling a void. There are a lot of atheists and closet atheists who are cur- who are curious and want more. We have it in the next step is to bring it to them yeah i mean we we've said that a while ago that they are whether they like it or not they are a religion it's a it's a system of beliefs and they have a lot of disciples and they have a lot of evangelists seth mcfarlane is one um the guy doing the cosmos series they use him as one as well um richard dawkins christopher hitchens who just died um uh i'm missing a couple but (laughs) (laughs) what i'm saying is is that they are they they operate like a religion and yeah. now this is the, the same verbiage they used is the same thing we would use if we got a show on whatever that we're trying to get our message out to the world find people who are lost you know that kind of it's the same thing well I got advice for them don't cut out Christmas because you're going to lose ratings if you do <laughs> well, yeah. they already if, cut off Christmas nah 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 but if you just don't do I mean you know, we can always say ah you got our name 
in there. That's what's up. But there are there's other atheist <laughs> themed shows that always include Christmas. Yeah, well, that's like fine, um, Doctor Who. If Doctor I'm Who watching it, is is atheist themed, but in the core of it, people are probably mad. But it is Doctor but Who. Doctor Who is a British show, oh. and it, they 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 put a lot of atheist terminology into it. But they always do a Christmas special. So that oh, doesn't what? that doesn't contradict. It's not about Jesus. It's just uh, Christmas time. You know what I mean? Like stuff yeah. happens during Christmas. Well, now can, let me ask you a question. I think this is the number one thing. Is you because they they also talk about they gonna have shows about philosophy, science, and history. Do you think they're going to try to do stuff where? Because atheism always say again about morality. Like you don't need the Bible yeah. for morality. Mm-hmm. So do you think that? They're they're trying to build up people just to be good people, without. I think they're if I mean I would just if I was them, what they would be doing is to try and get people to realize that you're an atheist. I think a lot of people are like they say closet atheists, yeah. but they still talk like they're Christians. I think what they want to do is expose them, let them come out the closet, so to speak, and and build the the people who are free to say yeah. that they're atheists because it's still taboo to say you're an atheist and they want that to to be killed they want it such to be a, easy for people to say i'm an atheist i'm cool with that such a boring pointless religion <laughs> it really is <laughs> you mad you mad yeah, man because <laughs> i mean it's just like so who cares Facts okay. versus faith, right? You don't want to hear the, you don't want to hear God, you don't want to hear Jesus. No, but don't spend the money. But that that's not. Oh. I mean, just because if I just put out my almost atheist thing, so the reason is is because they believe science has a lot of mysteries to be solved, and they're afraid that religion takes away from the pursuit of science and pursuit of learning more about life and everything. And they they want to know how you know how to get further into space, how to get you know deeper into the ocean. Like they want to explore, and they're afraid that religion kills that. So that's their driver that's their, so they, and i have advice for that so they they're afraid that faith kills science yeah because they believe faith makes you say i'm satisfied but if you get also, rid of faith then you have a desire knowledge. to pursue knowledge yeah, yeah. that's that's their why, why don't people don't think they can do go go hand in hand they do but they don't believe that my there advice some, there are that, a lot of people who just you know whatever i don't care anymore my advice to that is you have a hundred years get over it what? You don't figure it out in 100 years? Get over it. Brian Racy. You're, you're mean. I'm just, yeah, I mean, it's like... It's I mean, alter ego. <laughs> you know, I've had this argument before with atheists, and it's been the same... Same. I just ask common sense questions. I don't even get into... I mean, I do get into the Bible when we have a chance to sit down and talk about it when people ask. Um, but I'm, my, my thing is, you know what? Reverse time. Like, give me 125, 136 years. Give me that. And then and, and we'll and we'll see who's who's got. What are you not. talking about? Yeah, see, just changing just, things. Just change it. Just, I mean, if you think science is so powerful, come up with the drug that will give you 150 years. If you can't do that, then shut up. Sit down. Wow. All okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Writing a book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that brother in prison right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, section. Um, uh, we. We have the rep 13th floor. Um, all hip hop copy sections. The rep 13th floor heads up FM Christian hip hop 2014 compilation. And the free download of the week is Joey Prophet Fight Club. So, and then that's it for moi. Yeah, man. All right, let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars Ryan Wright to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go.
Take me out, I'm not close to my thunder Crisis run the victory, I'm not going under Trouble's not gonna steal my shine Get back Don't worry, worry far behind. behind Life won't get the best of me I'm still standing here This is Kwajalein Jackson from St. Louis, Missouri, and you're in the field with the Track Stars. All right, you in the field with the Track Stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Okay, today this is this is a big thing going on right now. We decided to jump in the conversation and find out what we can say about this and see what can be done. All right, this is about the uh, Bring Back Our Girls uh, campaign that's going on right now. Um, if you don't know, uh, there were uh, girls in Nigeria that were kidnapped. Um, I think I believe it was 276 girls. They were kidnapped from a like a boarding school, mm-hmm. and um, some guys came in, shot all the guards, piled them up in a truck, and drove them away. And the intention is to sell them off as wives to militia people. So there was a big uproar um, about it, and people are saying, "Bring back our girls!" You know, they want the girls to be returned, and demanding action to be done. So we just want to talk about what what uh, what's our reaction to it, and what do you think should be done. Yeah. Um, first off, um, that situation deserves and, and, and requires much needed prayer, much needed prayer. I mean, I can't tell you how my heart does flips being a father now thinking about you being there and not being able to take your child you know, home with you at the end of the day. And, you know, and you hope that they're still alive. And so I see the situation, man, is um, very unfortunate. Um, it sounds like a, just a horrible movie. Um, but it's it's happening. And um, I think that everyone expects for the U.S. to get involved and to do things. And it just to me, it seems like, you know, all this involvement from all all different levels and all different countries. I mean, I don't see us avoiding a world war for m- much longer, you know, um, and this situation itself um you ask yourself, how much can we? Well, how much can we do? You know, what can we do? Because, and then you also wonder if you getting involved makes the situation worse. You know, and then you don't know the um, the intent of why this happened. Like, okay, so you've is there like is there a ransom? Does anybody know if there's a ransom for these girls? Are they asking for a certain number of dollars? Anything like that? Is it just a threat right now? I mean, I know they're tied to Al Qaeda, so it hasn't come up yet um yeah i haven't heard it come up about like a ransom or anything like that i think honestly i think it's just they're trying to put them in sex sex slavery i think if yeah i'm mistaken yeah. but they've been recording videos about what they're going to do and this that, and the other so i don't know if this is one of those things that al-qaeda is using to attack the the world you know in a way Uh, in a form of terrorism or if this is something that they're saying okay this is going to be a big money day for us a a big cash cow like we cash out on this you know get them to pay a ransom for all these all these uh, young girls and we've made another statement and it's yeah i mean i definitely feel feel like it's a political move too because i know in that country they they are i don't know if it's a requirement but they alternate between presidents um muslim and christian presidents and so this is happening during the term of the christian presidency and so i'm assuming that this is you know to make some type of statement against that as well if they don't like the way things have been handled or are being handled or trying to you know make some type of demand as it relates to that as well and i know they've been complaining about the christian president not necessarily taking much action so i feel like it's a political move as well specifically within that country Mm. wow and this is something he said he said 
Um, he said he's going to sell them. I, I abducted your girls. I will sell them in the market by Allah. There's a market for selling humans. Allah says I should sell. He commands me to sell. I will sell women. I will sell women. This, I mean, it's just sick. And not only him being sick, but the people who are willing to buy girls. That's sick. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I was sitting in my car one day and I was thinking, why didn't just everyone <laughs> refuse to buy the girls, you know? Like make that a make that a make a stance with that. It's like okay, we're not gonna get involved with this, you know. But I think when you talk about them going to militia, their mindset the mindset is already made up. That's what they do. They they rape, kill, they destroy lives. That's what they do. And this this is a very um, personal issue for the U.S. Because there there are a lot of Nigerians. I know a lot of Nigerian people. So this is not like oh these some people somewhere far off that we shouldn't care about. Like these there's a lot of Nigerian people that are dealing with this. That yeah. have family back there that are yeah. dealing with this. So I mean, so do you think that that's the stem of the U.S. involvement? The fact that. American citizens are affected by this is it is it not even a question that we get involved in or is it a question that we shouldn't get involved oh man I don't know how you know me I don't know how politics work yeah. I don't know how to suggest because you know the most recent I heard was that we were sending drones to look through the woods I mean, yeah. come on really Selling drones. Yeah. I mean, when it's a human issue, I think that is when it becomes a global issue because, I mean, we can, and that's usually typically what I guess kicks off or, or what threatens a world war when there's like nuclear warheads involved or something that can just affect the state of humanity overall. And this really is a human issue. I mean, it, it, it's right up there with just the whole global movement that's been going on with the sex trafficking piece. And so I think at, it would it would not look good on our part to be able to do something and not, you know, given given the sensitivity of the issue. Do you think this, if we did go to war because of, like, let's say, of this issue, is it more of a Christian versus Muslim thing? I don't think so. Because it could come off like that. I think it comes off as, um, and, and there's a question, too. Should we be the world police? Should Christians police the world? Is is that's not Christians or the U.S. Uh, America? Should no, no, no. Be. I'm talking about like the way we are taking on this topic right now. The way we're taking on the situation. Should we be policing the world if we know the the good and evil exist in this world? Well, I would say as Christians, we're we're called, we're commissioned to to take on. Um, human issues you know what I mean like as Christians that's yeah. like the I should say as the body of Christ we're literally commissioned and given the authority to do that you yeah. know we're the representation of Jesus so whatever Jesus right. would do like what would Jesus do right bringing back old wristband mm-hmm. what would he do in this situation <laughs> right so that's and that's what makes me question where we are it makes me question where we are because it does look like it doesn't have anything to do with Christianity or um, the Muslim faith. It has to do with the stronger of the allies. You know, who can go against who, who has the largest army, that sort of thing. So I don't really think it has anything to do. But it, is this, who would you be fighting? This, this isn't a country we're fighting, right? This is a militia. Right. So yeah. would this be considered a war or like an operation? Um... I don't know because, see, that's the whole issue with um, Afghanistan and Iraq is that we ended up fighting civilians because they didn't want us over there in the first place. You know what I'm saying? And then we end up fighting a whole country when we were supposed to just go in and get Al Qaeda. But now we're fighting a whole country because they are they are arbiting. Yeah, they're pulling people over to their side. They're yeah. telling people, well, you don't want America to come over here blowing us up and killing our innocent women and children. So you need to come join the fight. Does that happen when we go to Nigeria? Do they say, oh, okay, you know what? They're coming over here. They're killing innocent women and children. We don't know where they're holding these girls. So you send drones in there and you start popping off different locations and they say, hey. You just- okay. Earlier I said, what would Jesus do? Did Jesus ever face a situation where there were people being injured and he had to deal with it? Because I don't know if there was a direct situation like that. You know what I mean? Like, because what would he do? In this specific situation, That's a I think good first question. of first of like Christ was like for children, like he was like adamant about right. children, yeah. so he would be up in arms about up in arms or with arms. Children. Like that's what I'm saying. Like what would he do? Yeah. Um. I don't. I mean, 
Mm-hmm. Violent take it by force. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's carrying up the temple over some money exchanges. So yeah, he might, I was thinking he might about that little, too. You know, violent take it by the force on this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's that's interesting because everything he dealt with was you know like hunger, um, people being having diseases, you know, things like that. I don't know if he you saw him deal with an actual like issue like this. So. It'd be I mean, interesting promiscuous to see. women, but not women subjected to promiscuity. Right. So, mm. It's interesting. I, it is. It's tough. It's tough. It is. Because when you talk about our only, our only point is to follow after Jesus, our only point, then it takes a lot of our thoughts out of it. You know, our own considerations, what we would do, what we wouldn't do. It takes it out and says, well, this is the model that you have to follow. Well, I think it... Besides me not knowing how this all works, I think the only thing to do is go get them, whatever that takes. Whether you wow. no, no matter how it happens, I mean, you guys figure that out. But you have to go get them because this is this is just a um, example of what happens all over the world. Like we we dealt, you know we started a sex trafficking ministry. This is this is an example of that, but that happens everywhere. Yeah. Girls are getting kidnapped all over the place. So this is just a highlighted example of it, and it's getting a lot of attention because celebrities. I mean, I'm looking at a picture with Michelle Obama holding it up. Um, it'll be interesting to see what what Obama is going to do. Like, what? Yeah. Is anybody asked him? I haven't seen any coverage on this. So I thought he, I thought he had told the president, and you, I think you may have mentioned this, DJ Jeremiah, but I think he had told the president that he was going to support with military force i don't know what that would entail but i believe he has verbally committed that or you know made that commitment to the president and i would i would think that would be the 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 uh navy seals they do special missions like this i would think that's what unless it's just bigger than the navy seals which it sounds like it could be bigger than the navy seals i think i think if we get involved in it it's gonna just it's gonna start people i think people hate us already Mm -hmm. but i think the hate for us as Americans and like our country is going to be heightened. Now I got another issue to raise, and and, and this is probably where we got to leave it. But does does it matter that our president is black, and this is happening in another country where it's African? Yeah, it's black. It, it, yeah, exactly. You mean no. when people say he's no. being partial to that? Right. Is that would that would that be a hesitation on his part no. not to jump I would in? Hope not. No. It doesn't would people, matter. Would people would people think I that it I should see what be? You mean Who cares? Because because in other countries where it's not um, yeah. black black people there, that's going on too. Like yeah. we said, like it's yeah. sex trafficking all around the world. Yeah. So it's like, it's, but I now, see what you mean though. Wasn't his father Nigerian? His father. No. I thought he was Af- I know he was African. I don't know. I don't. I've never heard Nigeria. I think I would have paid attention. Okay. To that. But it could be okay. Hold on, my sister's waving at me. Yes, he is. No, yes. I don't know. Anyway, but um, yeah, I don't know. That would be interesting. Yeah, that would be interesting. But it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. But then also, then it come it comes down to playing the role of uh, our only black people supporting this this take no. by force issue. No, it's other no. people, right? That's getting involved, right? Involved with it. But so. as a country stance, though, does this look? Partial. I don't see Favorable. why. I don't see why. That would okay. be dumb. That would, that would be really dumb. That's good. I like to think that we're above that. We're f- past that. Yeah. Any 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 situation we hear about like this, we should have the same reaction. So that's that's my attitude. So whatever we can do, I I guess the question is, what can we do? What is the purpose of us talking about it? Because if this is a government thing, then what is us talking about it going to do? Is there anything that individuals we can just do? solicited prayer? That's that's what we do. We just solicited prayer, and I think, I think from us on this radio show, that's all we can do. I wonder if that's what, if, what they're saying. What if what if we did something where we did like, of course, a hashtag track stars pray for our girls, and then we get people to. Yeah, I mean, if 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 prayer is what we're shooting for, but is there anything actual that we can do, like physically? There's a There was a woman who told her daughter that she was leaving um, uh, Atlanta to go be, a, be side by side with the Nigerians in this fight. And um, her daughter just started crying and she was just like, you know, can you find another way? So this woman developed a website um, where people are actually sending money through to help you know, 
fund a um, what is it a reward? They're up to three hundred thousand dollars right now wow. on the reward. So maybe that's something else too. That's yeah. something else. Well, we'll we'll find out. But I don't know what don't, she's doing. It's a, yeah, it's a reward. Don't but people don't get additional. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you get anything? Else? Off? Huh? It's Canyon. Ah, that's right. Okay. Canyon. Yeah, that sounds like Obama's dead. But um, no, I don't think the money is for the guy. It's for oh. whoever finds the girls. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's for whoever. It's the reward. Yeah. Like just like if you lose something here, you you get. Yeah, we the- we put ourselves in a bad position if we just raise money to pay off ransom. Then everybody would go after somebody. Say, oh, okay, the United States is gonna pay that for me. I'm good. <laughs> All right, man. Ho- hopefully, um, I guess, I guess the reason for us talking about it is if you didn't know, now you know. So if somebody out there knows what to do, uh, we'll try and look into a little bit more and see if we can start something with whatever influence we have. But um, I guess it's knowledge. So if you didn't know, see what you can do locally, and we'll figure out what we could do here and figure out how we can get some action going. Because I mean, my fear is is that. It may be a, a little too late for some of the things that we're afraid of, but it doesn't mean that we can't. I don't know why the movie Taken is in my head, but there's there's no reason why we can't try to get them back anyway. You know what I mean? So Lisa. yeah. So anyway, you in the field with the track stars? Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner. All the buses we giving y'all five seconds to get close to an exit. Track five stars to come out and play. Five seconds is up. Let's go. You have just uh, been uh, bored. This is the mission field with the track stars. Get into it. Welcome to the mission field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous and Sean Tanner. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. Yeah, all I really know is one it. Nothing left. Circle K. I don't want no new Bugatti. Put me in them but County. Yeah, yeah. Liberia, I'm serious. Mosquito net in my Bible on concrete bed. I'm still smiling. I ain't eating much, but I'm smiling. I'd rather be in the jungle in the will of God than anywhere else outside it. Yeah. I'm, I'm in this life, but my hope ain't in this life. A good career book for years. A book and peers. A good look. This won't suffice. But homie, my life is hidden in Christ. My life is hidden in Christ. Give me 99 problems plus one Godhead. The result is. All I really know is one. Nothing left. One. Tell nothing left. All I really know is one. Nothing left. One. Tell nothing left. All I really know is one. Never feeling, ain't nothing you can tell him. Yes, he's the generous type, but you face him, you will take that L in. No, our God won't fail us. We know from where our help comes. So I put my life at stake, though it might be blood. I want that well done, 100. If we flipping burgers, if we flipping houses, when our bank accounts don't mean nothing. And if we pay the lot, or if we pay the bit, we gon' be going in, cause he's coming. We trying to be the best that we can be and rest so that the world can see that he's done it. No matter who does the check, so we'll be working that man, we work for him, and we love it. Yeah, all I really know is one 
life will serve it A life full of pushback At that moment we'll all be worth it Cause my work is worship And when he comes back for his church all over the earth We'll be giving no less than what he gave us first One honey my name is Shanae and I'm from Fairfield, Alabama and I'm listening to the Field Track Stars. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright to Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Okay, time for Noteworthy. All right, this one is called Brother Falling. Here it is. 
What's up, Track Stars? I wanted to say how much I appreciate what you do and the advice you give is great. I am 19 years old and have a brother that is 17 years old. He and his girlfriend have been going out for three months now. We are both Christians, but I, uh, it seems, I seem to be more serious than him in our faith, particularly when it comes to girls and sexual purity. I don't think his girlfriend is a believer. If she is, she's not a strong one. The point in their relationship is uh, the point in their relationship is starting to get sexual. And I can't seem to knock some sense into him. He is willing to have sex with her at any cost, even if it means disobeying God. Could it be that he hasn't been saved and he keeps bringing up how he will be forgiven? But will he? Does God forgive those who willingly know what sin they are committing? I really hate to see him go down the impure road. Thanks for reading. Brother Falling, what do you think? Oh, man. So, uh, what is the question being asked to us? Is he a Christian? Uh, what should he do about it? Will he be forgiven? <laughs> I want to be so, like, vulgar right now, but I don't know it's not the place in time. Why do you want to be vulgar? No, 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 no. I mean, I, just, I, mean, I was just going to say, like... You know the camera's on you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, like, truthfully, like, I mean, it would sound vulgar. It won't be vulgar, but it would sound vulgar. Like, I mean, yes, he's a Christian. Uh... Uh, yes, she's probably a Christian too, if she says she is. But this is just something that Christians do; they fall. I mean, oh, this is just something oh, that you were about do. to say that. Oh, Ryan huh? Righteous, you're saying that. Yeah, I'm just saying that he he's asking is his brother really a Christian, and I'm saying just because he's falling to sin doesn't mean he's not. But Christian. you can't yeah, that's presume a good question, sin because him question. his his brother saying you know well, it's okay, God's gonna forgive me or his grace. The whole thing we were talking about what Justin Bieber, you can't Bieber Bieber. <laughs> yeah. You can't presume or you shouldn't presume God's grace. <laughs> I was just having this conversation you with. Shouldn't. I, mean, I was just having this conversation with Shantana the other day, and I was just like, "Yo, young kids in my youth ministry are falling." Yeah, but the point is, the question is valid because just because somebody says they're a Christian doesn't mean they understand what being a Christian is. Right, his brother may not be a Christian. Well, as the thing is, is he said his brother was a Christian, but he may not be. He may not be, but that's not so, for so us. I, I, th- I, I mean, think, I can't go off of that. I think though. that's the question we got to answer here. Yeah, are you a Christian if you fall? Yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah. You, you because can. because the way it sounds like we're judging him on a, being a Christian because he no, he's that's not what I'm doing. Fall on a t- temptation. Just because you fall doesn't mean you're not a Christian. But his question is valid. This is his brother, so the fact that he's questioning it may mean that his brother may not understand what being a Christian is. Gotcha. May not understand that yeah, you know yeah. giving your life to God and following His ways and. And um, believing that he died on the cross to pay for your sin, he may not understand that. He may have just went along with it. There's a lot of people who go through youth ministry that are not Christians, and they think they're Christians, and then when they get out into the real world, they find out they're not Christians for real. They were just doing what their parents told them to do. But it was a valid question. It is a valid question, but I can't say that I would ever go against with the answer I just gave just because he's falling into sexual. It's not. Is he 19 or is he 17? Which one is he? He's 17 and the older brother is 19. Yeah, I mean, he's 19. Correctly. What does I mean, that mean? I'm just saying, man, like in my youth so you're ministry. you saying that people just going to fall? Just get in over my, it? In my youth you ministry, these kids are falling. But doesn't that, mean that you should. It doesn't mean you should. But it's happening. So I wouldn't okay, so say that basic, they're not Christians. Okay. They're on stage. No, I'm not saying just because he's falling means he's not a Christian. I'm saying because his brother wonders if he's a Christian, that's a valid wonder. No, but then also you keep you go back and and talk about Bible when Paul was like, "Don't keep sinning." Yeah, you know what I mean, just to just to play with grace, it's basically. But I don't know, know what's right and not do it. Yeah. But how do we know he's? How do we know he is? He says he'll he'll go at any cost to have sex with her. Yeah, right. But he's saying, but see that this is a this is really a topic question because it's really like. <clears throat> it has me going in different directions. I have three different answers about it. Um, one, how do we know that the brother? How do we know that the brother is even fair? Is even fair of the brother to ask the question if he's not dealing with the same temptation? You see what I'm saying? Seriously, think about it. If what if he's if not? I know, listen, if I know a brother in Christ, right, and drinking's not an issue for me, which it isn't, but I know a brother in Christ that gets drunk, right? Am I able to say just because he gets drunk that he's not a Christian? I can no. say he has a weakness. I can say he I, has. So, a, okay, a, some, somewhere we're missing something temptation. because you're saying one thing and it's almost like we're saying something else because I'm like, 
yeah, because I'm just I'm trying to figure it out because I'm thinking, yeah, you're right that you're not a you're you are a Christian, yeah. but sometimes you you have struggles. But at the same time, you're like his brother has a valid point to question his Christianity because he doesn't see the fruit that he's bearing. No, I'm saying that if you just because somebody says they're a Christian doesn't mean they're a Christian. Yeah, so yeah. if you wonder is somebody really a Christian? That Christian, that's a valid. <laughs> 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 Question. All right. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> all off track. Yeah, I started it with Beaver. Anyway, so so that's a valid question because just because somebody says they're a Christian doesn't mean they're a Christian. So yeah. if you say, "Is my brother really a Christian?" That's a valid question. That is. It doesn't valid. matter what he's dealing with. That that's is. a valid question at any point in somebody's life. That is. But then it sounds like the brother's also saying, "Just because I see him doing something." Does that mean? Does that give me the right to question his Christianity? Because no. you could be dealing with pornography. No. And if your brother saw you dealing with that, he can question whether or not you're a Christian. He could. But what I'm saying is, whenever you see somebody saying, "I'm gonna do this," I know it's wrong, and I'm gonna do it anyway. That is a valid question. Because uh, as a Christian, mean. why would you want to intentionally sin when you know that it's wrong and it will hurt God? I got. I know. Or maybe in my youth ministry, I got them in the. Well, struggling I, is one thing. I you think. Know. Oh, go ahead, man. Yeah, struggling is one thing, but intentionally falling into sin and just presuming that God will forgive you is another thing. I think I understand what you're saying. Like, um, just saying, like, I'm a sin just to go sin and no matter. Um, that would question somebody's. Um, somebody would have a question. About yeah, it doesn't mean that today. they're not a Christian, but yeah. it's a valid question because yeah. a Christian, I would assume, as a Christian, you would understand. That Jesus, what, as a Christian, you have cast off sin and God made you a new creature. Yeah. You shouldn't desire to sin regardless of the consequences. Yeah. That shouldn't or, be your desire. Or his brother just don't know. I mean, that, that's another thing too. His brother yeah. just don't know. Like, I can't have premarital sex. You know what I mean? I that that can't he that knows. can't happen. He knows. He's nineteen. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> why you say that? He's with a seventeen, <laughs> and, and the brother's nineteen. No, he he's seventeen. He the brother the dealing brother. with it is seventeen. I thought you said the brother dealing with it was nineteen. No, he, no, the, the guy older. writing, is nineteen. What? Really? Oh, okay. You just told me the opposite. No, Chris, I didn't. Chris told me the opposite. Say, I didn't yeah, say nothing. Maya told me the opposite. You lying? Y'all go back. Lying righteous. Y'all go back and listen to this podcast. Lying righteous. If y'all go back and listen to this podcast, first time somebody did that, that was good. You all told me the opposite. Somebody you tweet did. in and please <laughs> let's get this back. on No, who was who is listening I'm to the show? Please right verify on our behalf, please. <laughs> Golly, okay. After recording right now, go see. The point is. Oh my. The point is, whether he's a Christian or not, what is the oh. answer to this this guy's question? So, okay, give us the question again, because we didn't win. He wants to know is, okay, first question. Could it be that he hasn't yet been saved? Um, can he be forgiven if he does what he does? And um, does God forgive those who willingly sin when they know they're sinning? Um, those are the three questions. Okay. I, I will say it could be the case that he is not saved, meaning he has not been transformed in his heart. He hasn't um, really believed in his heart. He may have professed with his mouth or just, you know, gone through the motions, but may not. And I say may because only God knows if he is, in fact, really saved. But that could be a possibility. But then also, too, going back to the thing of presuming God's grace, God has mercy on whom he has mercy. So, you can repent, but it may not, forgiveness may not always be extended. And so I, the question is, are you willing to take that gamble? Are you willing to take that risk? Because forgiveness may not be there when you need it. It may, you know, like that's, that's God's decision as to whether or not he's going to extend that mercy. So you have to decide if you're going to take that gamble or if you're just like, okay, I just want to please God. I'm not concerned with how close I can get to the line of sin but I just want to please God. That should be the real answer. And I, Can I please God? And I'll add on to what Maya said. I think the grace is always there for you, but it's not a guarantee that God will pull you out of whatever crap you just got yourself into. That's grace that he even gets you out of. Because you're thinking that, oh, I could sin, and then I could stop sinning, and then I'll be good again. That's that's not a guarantee yeah. at all. There's several people we know that went down that road and never came back. And forgiveness is one thing, but there are 
consequences to your actions. So God could forgive your brother for having sex out of marriage, but it doesn't mean that he's exempt from the consequence of having a child out of wedlock or contracting an STD. That could simply be the consequences of his sin with a clean heart, forgiven and all, you know. Yeah, I mean, okay, so let's let's solve this thing because you what? It, it seems like you have an issue with me saying that he may not be a Christian. No, I'm just saying that his brother can't question him on Christianity unless he knows his brother's never taken the call of salvation and never really understood so you're saying what that it's somebody like who takes the call to salvation is absolutely 100% saved. No. No, I think that's when Maya was talking about transformation. That's when transformation happens. If he took the call and he really was transformed, that's when that happens. But I think, uh, but this uh, is what I'm saying. Uh, but, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm still thinking about sanctification. Yeah. You're sanctified to be more like Christ each and every day. Now, of course, the willful sinning is out of place, but I'm just thinking about abroad. When you take a confession of when you okay, a prime example, you can go to a church and you could feel not feel God, but you could feel like wow, God is really with me. And then you leave and temptation happened right there and you mess up. Do you like I'm um you know what I'm saying? Like because yeah, you're a baby in Christ. There's too. two options. Either you get saved and the process of sanctification starts and you may still be making mistakes along the way. Yeah. Or you didn't get saved, you thought you did, but you didn't really understand what it means to actually give up your life yeah, and accept Christ. So application. you could have went you could have walked down the aisle, you could have cried, you could have raised your yeah. hand and everything and not believed in your heart that Jesus Christ is your savior. Yeah. There's two things going on. You gotta confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, Jesus Christ yeah. is Lord. So some people don't do that. They just say it. They don't do they don't really believe oh, yeah. that it, it calls for both. So <laughs> That's what I mean. Somebody could have went through that process and still not be saved. So that's why I'm saying his brother's question is valid. It's a valid question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, I agree with you. It's a valid question. But all I'm saying is that the only thing your brother's doing is you see him having, you see him sitting. The sit- only thing he's doing. No, 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 no. <laughs> The only thing you're seeing, basically, the yeah. only thing you're seeing is the sex outside of marriage. But you got something you're doing that nobody else knows about. Don't be so quick to judge. I don't know if he's judging. I think he's concerned for his brother. I don't think he's judging. This isn't like, can you believe my brother's this idiot brother of mine? I think it's like, I'm concerned for my brother. What is going on with him? Is he saved? What should I do? Should I do something? Like, that's what I hear. I don't hear condemnation. You know, it would be be like concern if we had somebody that we We know, like, uh, (laughs) that you have a concern for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it, it's not judging. It's not them. judging. It, it's concern. It's concern. Like, hey, man, I don't like what what's is going on. What should my prayer be yeah. for my brother? Should my prayer be for my brother to be saved? Should it be for him to repent? Should it be? What is my prayer for him? That's I think, I think the question. I think that's the question. That that has to be the question. Is what is the what what is my brother? What level on my, is my brother on? That is his question. Yeah. Honestly, I think this is the answer. I think one a brother needs to repent. And of course, turn away. But also, you need to help him along the way once he realizes to repay. And then also, I found out this recently um, about a message that we heard was like, if you around somebody and you just letting them fall, then you truly don't love them. Like you truly don't care about somebody if you just letting them do their own thing. Yeah, but you know what, what is letting them do? Like, what are you supposed to do? What I'm saying, like, if 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 I know something about somebody, like if I know that. Um, like their situation and it's not trying to step in or just letting them fall like just letting them constantly mis- make those mistakes and not come to them and be like hey man you know what i mean you said you're a christian christians doesn't act this christians doesn't don't act this way they they don't they wait to have sex before i mean they wait to but have it, sex but he is trying he's trying he said i can't seem to knock any sense into him okay well i'm just saying i'm just using that as an example but i i think his brother does need to re- repent if he's a truly a uh, christian but i think I, this, this is a hard subject because it is hard because you can't say nobody is not a christian no right but at the same time you we are fruit bearers if you are a christian you you should have fruit in your life to show that you're well a christian. the real the real issue is and i think what ryan was getting at is this is a lot of kids problem at this age before and beyond yeah this is the, this is the biggest issue most people deal with is sexual things so it's not abnormal for him to be struggling with this 
But I think your concern is not that he's struggling. Your concern is that he doesn't care. And that's the real issue. Yeah. That you, there should at least be some sort of concern for it. Yeah. I think we all had concern while we were, you know, going through the process. There should at least be a concern. There should yeah. be at least kind of like a desire to do right. But if there's no desire to do right at all, that's what I'm saying. It's a valid question. You may have to pray for your brother a little differently. Maybe he doesn't get what this whole thing is about. He's an, He might also be a new age Christian. What's a new age Christian? New age Christian is that you hear, you 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 hear, you know, but you don't apply because society has told you differently. What about you're the, following a crowd? You're what about, following a trend? You're following. What about the parable about the seed? Like, some yeah, are seeds. you really a Christian? Yeah. I know people who would like. I go to church every Sunday. I'm really a Christian. I love Christ, but I'm nothing. knocking. I'm knocking down women every week. It doesn't mean anything, and I think that's the point. The point is, you could go to church every week, and say you love Jesus, and not be a Christian. Possibility. So, I think the reason the, the reason for this question is find out if you're a Christian. Everybody, right now, check. The way you check is. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, How do we check, Montana? <laughs> it's on. It's on your wrist. You'll see a little. No. Um, <laughs> uh, what makes a Christian is not by what you do. Um, I'm reading through Job right now, so it's interesting that this came up because it's not what you do uh, or what you don't do. It's believing that God is who he says he is, believing that he sent his son and accepting his penalty for your sin and saying and giving up your life. So it's uh, Savior and Lord. It's not just he saved me. It's I give my life to him. I turn away from my old life. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. Like he said, you may get tempted right when you walk out the door or right after you finish the prayer. But there should have been a surrender moment. If there was never a surrender moment, then I would question if you really got saved. You see what I'm saying? So we're talking against, you're talking surrender versus emotionalism. No, I mean actual surrender. Not just saying, yes, God saved me, but actually I am now his servant. There has but, to be both. Ooh, this is, uh, there has to be a surrender moment. No, because no, no. That's no, like no you. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying for some people, surrender moments may not happen right just there some people gotta figure out no, savior like i said God, turn into- surrender moment you have to have a surrender moment doesn't mean the next day you may not have a problem with the surrender moment but you should have had a moment where you gave up control to jesus if you didn't do that i would question your salvation that's like you splashing around in the water somebody trying to reach it. out to get you and you still kicking them i got like, it you ain't saved yet you in the water still you gotta, gotta get it. out i got a question for you the the young man you led to salvation over the christmas holiday when we, when we were delivering toys for tots, yeah, did he did he get saved? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, I have no idea. <laughs> he seemed coerced he into that situation. Toys, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I want Jesus in the toy. Did you see him have a surrender moment? I don't know. He could have. He could have. Like like I said, now nah, I just think you're not being honest. I no, know I'm what serious. You, really want to say. <laughs> you think you think that I need to see something specific? I have no idea. I have no idea. It, it, it's in your heart. Nobody's gonna mm, see it. Yeah. It's not visible. It's you have to do it inside here. That's why nobody else can say you're a Christian or not. Only you know, including all of us in the room. I have you no knew idea. When you left that room. You I, knew. I do not know <laughs> you because knew. the situation he may have been in. If you don't understand, we went to somebody's house and we delivered toys, and there was um there was a guy sitting on the couch next to his girlfriend, and we were like, Ryan said, "Does anybody want to get saved?" And his girlfriend kind of nudged him. He's like, "He does. He does." <laughs> And he was like, he kind of like begrudgingly stood up and he, and I prayed for him. But just because he seemed that way on the outside, I have no idea what he was doing on the inside. He may have been nervous because of his friends or whatever, but you have no idea what he did when, after we left that night, you have no idea. I have, no, I'm serious. Like, why are you saying that? Why, just because of what he did, you think he may not have been saved? I just think that we all kind of left that room saying uh, he was forced into that. He may have, but I still think it, the conversion it happens in your heart. He may not have shown it. He doesn't seem like a very emotional person anyway. So I have no idea. I really don't. I think he said, let me smoke this last blunt and we'll have that talk tomorrow. <laughs> Man, this is there's some dis- <laughs> there's <words> some <laughs> there's some disconnect on stuff. We need to have a salvation discussion. I'm, I'm not hearing the same consistent message coming from everybody. Anyway, why are you looking at me? All right, man. Let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, to Shantan, and DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. Face cramming, jamming. Pounding like a eight band jamming in Graceland, sounding like eight cannons. 
out of state scanning, planning on my celly phone, yellow bone. I love the light, but I hate tanning. I'll show you how to sub, H-O-G, mob it up. We stain by the blood, it's a gang, it's not a club. I'm keeping purple in my circle, all the design. Certainly his service is the purpose of my grizzine. Yes, it is a definite, your best bet is accepting it. We step into his presence and make no attempt to exit it. Flesh is sick, we gon' just wrestle it till it's desolate. Bring death to this mess, anything less than we ain't accepting it. Tick, 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 your time is up. Think before just signing up the drama. Can get funky like that thong that's in your mama's butt. What I vomit up is way out like Andromeda. Hot as a Somalian thermometer, I promise ya. Dummy slap in the game, running back. Money in, money back, it's a mummy rap. Bubble like soda, double my quota. Harry Bill is building up the kingdom of Yahoda. The, the, the dummy slap in the game, running back. Money in, money back, it's a mummy rap. Bubble like soda, double my quota. Harry Bill is building up the kingdom of Yahoda. Ain't nothing realer than Jehovah get. You think that devil coward know me yet? Two edge and metal weapon longer than Shinobi get Cause you know them enemies are Russia like a Soviet This industry I'm over it uh, Don't wanna see these vets When Christ is the gang Man this ain't a freebie set But why they never bang Stars who forgot they track They only bang for the cameras They get TV set uh, H-H-H-H-O-G-M-O-B-G-O-M -O -O Yahweh the illest from what I remember And so I tell them killers life is worth the fun the enter, born again and not holy placenta. That carnal repenter. Homie seven mobbing like no other team. So you know I'm keeping something purple in my color scheme. Got over money, losing funny that. We getting got money back. Click, click, dummy slap. Vindicate me, O oh Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O oh Lord, and try me. Test my heart and my mind. Dummy slap in the game. Money back. Money in, money back. It's a mummy rap. Bubble like soda. Double my quota. Every bill is building up the kingdom of Yahoda. The dummy slap in the game. Running back. Money in, money back. It's a mummy rap. Bubble like soda. Yeah. Double my quota. Uh -huh. Every bill is building up the kingdom of Yahoda. Homie, we go hard Most of them softer than a roll of tissue What I rep is more official than a ref with a golden whistle On point like a homing missile Me and the devil, beef, bone, and gristle Run out of shells, I throw my pistol When you not in this world, there ain't no coping with you Put the lotus with you When it's cold, I bet it's cold will fit you Repent of your sins and your hope I won't forget you I ain't perfect in my skin I got a load of issues But I'ma keep my until my time is out Making sure demons get served Like they're dining out I hate all sin, all in Ain't no climbing out Greater to he that is in me What's there to whine about? H-O-G-M-O-B, homie Yes, that is the set I bang They know he won't be no phony Yes, that is the net I bring For these dark streets, my heart beats No Eddie Kane Yes, I hate the devil, man Yes, you was my everything For your steadfast love is before my eyes And I walk in your faithfulness I do not sit with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go around your altar, O Lord, proclaiming thanksgiving aloud and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. I shall walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great assembly, I will bless the Lord. Dummy slap in the game, running back. Money in, money back. It's a mummy rap. Bubble like soda, double my quota. Every bill is building up the kingdom of Yahoda. The dummy slap in the game, running back. Money in, money back. It's a mummy rap. Bubble like soda. Double my quota Every bill is built enough to get to my yahoo
Yo, what up, y'all? This your boy Cannon, man. Y'all about to get ready for line for line, man. You already know what it is. Holla at your boy. Yeah, man. We're back in this thing. Um, TrackStarsRadio.com. Um, it's time for line for line. Um, sponsored by Jim the Hype. Um, today is a southern line for line. So. <laughs> You are really it's been a rough, today. A rough. I had a one-year-old <laughs> birthday party hosted by me. It's, it's rough. Really? Oh, it's rough. Yeah. Wow. Is it hard out here in these streets? Hard. Mm-hmm. Hard knock life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a part two. The last time we did this, it was really full in here. Um, oh. It was really full. Like it was a lot of people in here. And people were voting, and we. It was pretty cool too. I know and what this is. So this is Rick Ross versus Thizzle Part Two. Wow. wow. So we're gonna get this thing going. And um This line for line, we're about to get it popping. So here we go. Oh, okay, I did it reverse. Alright. We're gonna start with the Rose Drug Dealer's Dream. Here we go. Can you relate? It's never too late. My my rip relate. Never would say. My my the, the saints. No, I'm a sinner. Now give me my sentence. Label the hustler. Look at my beans. One time for black, black, black. One time for nut, nut, nut. One time for Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. One time for Kano, Kano. One time for Bizzle, Bizzle, Bizzle. These my realest, realest, realest. One time for Trap, Trap, Trap. And all the dealers. De- 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 Alright, that was on um, Rick Ross, Drug Dealer's Dream. This is Thizzle with Broken Crown. And now you're sick of media trying to tell me who to be. If you with me, take that mask off. You hear the screams of our broken mothers. Look in the eyes of our broken brothers. You hear the cries of our broken sisters. Hope's louder, though it usually whispers. This is not a war for the pain at hardest. A war cry, we came to get it started. The last king that they saw was mine. Now play show out. Alright, that was um Thizzle, Broken Crown versus Rick Ross's um drug dealer's dream. Who do you guys have? Toss up. I don't think you like the new self. <laughs> Bless you. Um, I'm gonna say a toss up too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Um, I will say the second one, and so does my cousin. The second one, Thizzle. 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 Um, I I think Thizzle's album is sounding great. I've heard a couple songs so far. Um, well, actually, I give Rick Ross that one. I like the feel of that song better. So Rick Ross. Ricky Rosizé. You voting them? Um, <clears throat> toss up. Toss up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 the other mic. The other oh, Mikey. Yeah, yeah I just don't have it on. I um I am gonna go with Dizzle. So what's that? One zero Dizzle. One Dizzle. One zero Dizzle. One Dizzle zero. Okay, we're gonna go with <laughs> one Dizzle Sizzle. We're going with Thizzle first in Chicago, Detroit. Here we go. Before I walk up out the front door, 13 years old, she know I'm more about to go to war. Where I'm from, boy, they die young. They take that big money and they buy guns. My cousin told me, boy, you better buy one. They arm full of tax, but these young boys bear arms. Jungle. That's hilarious. Um, that's Dizzle, Chicago, Detroit. Um, this is Rose. The lights flashing on the four though. Switch the bins out for the ends out. Back to the bins out when the ends out. Switch your old O for my new new. Come a new new. Something like it, something like it, something like it. Think the game raw when I came in it. Get money, you must listen to me. You can stop me if you try. Mother, mother, cause the devil is alive. Big whip, uh, rich, rich, talking big, talking big, talking big, double cup, go rich, double up on the blow, on the blow. 
All right, that was Rick Ross. The devil is alive versus this of Chicago, Detroit. We are going to wait. Wait, hold on, pause. What did you just say? It's not true. The devil is not a lie. He's 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 true. He exists. He's the father of lies. But he, that's he is what not he was, a lie. He, then he, he was, was talking about the father you mean of lies. He exists. He that's exists. what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, he's saying in the song the devil don't exist. That's what it sounds like. To well, me. when you say the devil is a lie, that's what. Oh, I, I usually technically think people, what it means. I usually think. People but some are people saying, say the devil is a liar. They just call it mean. lie. So yeah. you know. I think that's what he was trying to say. Who? Rick Ross. Oh. I don't know. What y'all going with? I'm still trying to process air. Thizzle. Thizzle. Um, I said Thizzle. My cousin said Rick Ross. So if you want us together, uh, toss up. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <coughs> you going to consolidate your picks. Um, <laughs> ah, that's, that's a tough one because I actually like the... I like the Thizzle song a lot, but I I think the the feel of the Rick Ross song, the beat was really good. I did not like that beat. <laughs> really, <laughs> I don't like jazz. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the horns like that were people. in the um, song does that equate to jazz? <laughs> jazz. I don't like jazz. Damn, okay. damn, damn. I, I thought it was sounded great. What um, other genre would you put that in if it's not jazz? Horns I mean, aren't jazz. It's just horns music. over some hip hop. Like, oh, it's jazz. Okay. Um, you really turned up today. Yeah. Tell okay. Us how you really feel. <laughs> Tell me why you mad, son. I'm about to close Sean's laptop. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll give that one a toss up. We got a vote online for Rick Ross. Rosezy. I'm going with this. I Dang think it. that's. I hate when it's that close. You said thizzle. 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 Rick yeah, Ross. one of them, and then Fizzle. And you had Toss Up, Rick Ross Online, Rick Ross Air. It's Fizzle. It's three Rick Rosses, one, two, three, and four Thizzles and one Toss Up. Dang, I should say. All right, go ahead. <laughs> just don't want Fizzle to win? So no, Fizzle. I, just, I think I should have made a decision. That two Zip, been. four Thizzles and a Toss Up. Yep. You know what I mean? Two so, to zero. Yep. All right, um, we're going to go with this first. Dream Team, I had a dream. Here we go. Good, I've been waiting on this my whole life. I thank God for all of my dogs. I ain't talking no pitch, need the ball of my dogs, they ride. I ain't talking my whip, need the ball of my dogs, they own. I ain't talking about rich, neither. We was made for a time like this. And I ain't talking my wrist, neither. But I was dead of my time, but I still had a whole lot to learn. They said it's my time, but I still have to wait my turn. Now I have my see it. All right, Thizzle, Dream Team, I had a dream. This is Rose. Look at me, I'm pure. pure. I bet the hoes on my tour. I don't bop, I do the money dance. My will cause a hundred grand. Red birch, you see me. All right, um, Rick Ross, you know I got it. The reprise versus um, this was Dream Team. I had a dream. Who y'all going with? Thizzle. I don't like Rick Ross, but I'm going to go with him on that one. I choose Rick Ross purely for the beat, and mm. my cousin says um, Thizzle. Dog, y'all just flip flopping, mm-hmm. ain't you? Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why I was looking at you, yeah. too. Um, oh, man, it's hard because I, I think Rick Ross is a serviceable rapper. Like like I always say, like he he is technically decent. You know, he doesn't blow you away, but he doesn't, he doesn't like, he doesn't, his technique is not bad, so but his beats are incredible to me. Mm-hmm. I think who um, is it? Who is it? Who did that beat? I don't know who did that beat. I mean, who, he who's got his normal. Who's his normal? The one? Justice League. Justice League. That sound to me is great. Yeah. I think that's the only reason he's still around and that works is because they produced a sound for Down South that was crazy. Yeah. Um, oh man, but I, honestly, I don't like the reprise version of that song. Without Jay Z, I, I got the reprises is just, just Rick Ross. It's just him, but I don't like how he approached it. On that, so I'm gonna go with Thizzle on that one. Um, sample for sample, you go for Thizzle. I'm just asking. Sample for sample. Yeah. yeah. All right. Clip for clip. All right. Mm-hmm. Just checking. 
We're neck Jose. and neck. You're the um, tiebreaker. <clears throat> I will go with, I think, personally, I think Jay made that song. I'll say Thizzle. You have anybody online or that said anything? Oh, yes. yes. You mess with me? Thizzle. Thizzle you took it. I got it. Thizzle from Brandon Simmons. Three zip. All right. Uh, we're going to go with Rose. My verse on my knees praying, shooting in the church. Wake up on my sleep in another cold sweat. I lived on Billboard. What a what to go next? Go against the odds, young and go and get a job. Another country boy, they want back on the farm. So far from my goals, but I'm close to my kids. Don't cry for Mac Dre. Throwing up this. I just wanna be the one. I just wanna be the one you love. I just wanna be the one you run to when you're down. I just wanna. Um, that was Thug Cry by Rick Ross. This is, um, this will keep grinding. Inspire me, cuz, to be a better man and a better dad, bruh. I know there's flaws in your situation, but you deserve to be celebrated. For not throwing in your hand, picking up the car, standing up to be a man. No matter how the world look down on you, king, we came to let you know that we're proud of you, king. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. Right, that was Keep Grinding, Thizzle versus Thug Crowd, Rick Ross. What y'all going with? <laughs> Suspense. You must be tired. Rick Ross, yes. Thizzle. Keep on. We both said toss up. I got Rick Ross on now. Rosizo. Um. I would go. I'll say toss up too. Rick Ross got that. What's the score now? Three one. Three to one. Let's go. What about online? Do we? Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. Sorry, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Mess with me. Um, you know. Fizzle easily. Oh, Fizzle easily. But sure. Rick, but that's still. Wait now. Let me check now. Everybody we had a, a lot of toss ups. Toss -ups. Y'all were Rick the Ross's. two, and then you had Thizzle, so it makes no, it. I had toss up. Oh, I had Thizzle. My bad. So that makes it a toss up because we had two Rick Rosses, two Thizzles, and everybody else was a toss up, right? Wow. Four toss ups. So, go. dog, he took it back. Trackstar's universe evening stuff out. Okay. All right, Brandon. Uh, so it was still... three zip because Thizzle still, three yeah. Zip. All right, uh, we're going to go with um, Thizzle first, King of the Trap. Alabama, where the streets all bloody and they talk with broken grammar. Straight shot down 85, couple hours from Atlanta. you think they were construction waiting boys to bang it down boys. At first glance, you'll probably see no hope. Daddy long gone, mama gone on that boat. Brother on the pot, trapping so they don't be broke. Little sister in the crib, hungry, eating off the boat. Let's take a closer look at common ground. All right, that was Thizzle, King Thizzle of the Trap. Me. This is um. I got Thizzle on me. Rick Ross, Richard Gaines. President, Gank. you had that parve, like a GI gave a Cartier to Wale. Then I gave Meek Mill a Range Rover. Told Warner Brothers that the game's over. For me to move forward from here on, I need 50. I ain't talking 50 cent neither. <laughs> I came back a rich, rich, rich. Young mogul Bo Jackson, I'm a switch hitter. They want me face down on the pavement. That was Rick Ross, Richest Gangster versus Dizzle's King of the Trap. Who y'all going with? It's gotta be so easy for Rick Ross to write bars. It just has to be. Because it's just, you just sit there and look at it. You don't think twice. You got about plates, it. you don't got bars. <laughs> Dang, just... How do you get paid for something like that? Okay. Um, Remember, we should be national. Right. Toss it up. It's my cousin, <laughs> Moya. Hey, we choose Rick Ross. Ah. Ross is the boss. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, toss, like toss up. No, he's like, she just transformed into a whole. <laughs> what you say? Toss up. What you got? Rick I Ross. Rick Ross. Oh, wait. Y'all done threw me off. Two Rick Rosses, three. Thizzle from Thizzle. Thizzle from Brandon. Toss up. Thizzle. No, I said toss no, up. No, I'm talking to Brandon Thizzle. for Thizzle. Who you at? Toss up. Toss up. Please. And I was going to say this. 
This was an 85 by way of Atlanta. Y'all still going in? You had this one? <laughs> you had you shot me too? out. I'm, I'm good with you. Don't you had this one too? It's a, it's a toss-up again. We had wow. three thizzles, three Rick Rosses, and two toss-ups. Wow. So or three what? toss-ups. Three to zero. You're missing up Rick Ross, baby. He could have get a game back. <laughs> three to zero Three still? zip, yeah. Wow. Still. All right, this is the last one. This is probably the lowest scorer in line for line history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. Yeah. We're going to yeah, do Rick bro. Ross first. No, but people won that. There wasn't a bunch of toss-ups. Oh. Gosh. Oh, we're ready. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh. Oh. Got a thousand guns. Yeah, and if it. money is power, I got millions oh. of power. <laughs> huh? For huh? me, new. Huh? Oh. 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 17, now it's charging, charging 17. Rain green, young is new. Rain in the matter, yeah. Bomber green in that thing in the middle. Nasty. It wasn't even. It wasn't wrong. It was. It's a different level. Oh. <laughs> it was a different level. <laughs> We're ready. Rick Ross. This is um King Without a Crown Thizzle. Here we go. Do it for my mama. Do it. All the nights she sleep. And I do it for my kids. Cause my kids gotta eat. Granny in the kitchen. Granny in the kitchen. Whipping them turn ups. Turn ups. She told me God got me. Got me. I told her I turn up. Turn up. Over beats I turn up. Turn up. In the streets I turn up. Turn up. Matter of fact, I'ma change my name from the one you can call me Turn Up. Whatever you thinking, and you believing I am, I'm not. I'm not. Unless you thinking, and you believing. Oh, that was this little King Without a Crown versus War Ready oh. versus uh, Rose. The last one. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he just be <laughs> No, it was worse. Oh. I'm gonna go with Thizzle on that one too. He was eating, my ladies. Family, ladies in the booth. What y'all got? Dum, 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 dum. Thizzle. She said toss up. All right. I think that was Thizzle. Easy. Mm-hmm, me too. Easy. He was eating a really hot Philly cheese steak, Stop. and the cheese was making him go. Oh. <laughs> That's what it, it does sound like. Something yeah. like bodily was going on with him. Bodily. <laughs> <laughs> Thizzle online. Taking those tums. Oh. This sweet four zip. Well, you had one toss up in there, but yeah. Wow. Four yeah, that was to me. That was that was the easiest one. Um, yeah. Is that it? Yeah. There it is. Like I said, uh, Rick Ross has great production. Yep. Great production. Miami. Oh. And um, I think that some of that production is leaking into mm-hmm. our. Our music, so I'm I'm happy about that. Um, but this would have gone a different way if your dad was back in here vocal. Because <laughs> when Rick Ross said something about the church, he would have he would have zoned in on that word. He said that last time. He was like, Dad, don't oh. worry about the content. We yeah, he, about. he said something about the church, didn't he? he like, yeah, he did, but it wasn't in a good way. He took on your father old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fine. That was um, like that old school, come here. <laughs> now nah, it's a, it's a good matchup. Um, I know we talked to Thizzle about line for line, yeah. and I think it's it. it's important to bring up. I think <laughs> he, no, I think he does now. His concern, which is a valid one, is that he doesn't want people to think that he's trying to sound like Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's and true. and we know that that's not what we're trying to yeah. say. Mm-hmm. But I can understand artists that don't know us and they don't know what we do. Is the assumption is that we're trying to just say that this is a Christian version of so and so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not what we're doing, and For I hate that too. I mean, I get that. Um, I know Deontay gets that with um, uh, what's his name? Mm-hmm. So I know it, it's it's annoying, but that's not the purpose. He's a Christian too. He just looks like. Him. <laughs> <laughs> oh <shame>. yeah, <laughs> that's a shame. Well, that see, is a shame. Oh, I'm yeah. talking about that is a shame. That's not what I mean. I mean being compared <laughs> to other people. over the blunt, and you say something like that. <laughs> but this all I. I mean, personally, I don't think you sound like Rick Ross. I mean, feel, feel wise, like y'all yes. are probably hitting the same target or trying to hit the exactly. same target. But I personally don't think you sound like him. So it's target. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good. That's a good word. It's target based. Your, if your music seems like it's targeting the same group of people, go. that's that's what Jeremiah yeah. picks. So I think once we explained it to him, he understood and it was cool. But I think that's what the fear is for a lot of Christian artists. They don't mm-hmm. want to be compared with, you know, people mm-hmm. that are out there because. The stigma when we started doing the show, and you know this, is that 
people were just looking for Christian versions of somebody they like. So this is the Christian version of so and so, and it's like that limits you big time. Um, the sad thing is some some labels and music execs still at they still um, think that way though. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, let's go in the past. Like, remember when um, BBJ happened? I like BBJ, yeah, he was but good. at the at the same time, he sounded so much like Biggie. He, really did. he did. But so did Shine. Shine did. Yeah. But at the same so time, I think I think if like prime example, when you have um, when people, when, I mean, we learned this too. But when you have um, people that you idolize that you love, and you kind of copying them, people would hate that. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you came out and you just suck. And you were horrible Regardless People don't care But even if you are not If you are decent And you just sound like somebody That people consider a legend Living legend Then that's a bigger problem for you So I think that was a thing At one time with The Christian hip hop um, Time You know what I'm saying Well no The problem wasn't that You happened to sound like somebody The problem was They were trying to sound mm-hmm. like somebody yeah. That's mm-hmm. that's the issue And they think that that's still happening Yeah mm-hmm. That's not still happening Minus yeah. maybe a few here and there but nobody's trying to sound like so much so and so. Just like people got influences. Chris Brown got Michael Jackson and people before him that are influences. Yeah. They may have gleaned stuff from you know that person happens to be good, so you learn a little bit from them, a little bit from them, so and so. So that's different than copying. Christian music used to copy, and and that's not happening anymore. And I think that's the stigma. We we're not trying to. We're not saying that the people in line for lines are copies of the people that we're pairing them up with. Yeah. That's not the point. Style may be similar. Style, style music, may be similar. sound, me, sound similar, similar target. Yeah, you know, people who like that person may like you yeah. as well, but it's not you're not copying that person. Do you? Style. Do you? And be excellent at it, please, exactly. please. Yeah, man. So hopefully that helps. And I appreciate uh, Brandon Simmons for uh, voting yeah, online, man. If you, you want to last week, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. If you want to um, listen online while we're doing it, uh, make sure you just tweet. Tweet at us your vote, and your vote will count. As Brandon has proven, he's been voting. So well, what? Is, <laughs> what Brandon is the problem? Way. You started it. What's the problem? You started laughing first, and then I just picked up on the last word said, and then I just said that was silly. No, no, I didn't say nothing. Ryan Y'all just in a special we'll place you. today. Y'all are in a, no, in a weird you started, place today. You, he really did something though. <laughs> no, You'll be upset with him when you find out about <laughs> it. All right, <laughs> yeah. all right, man. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Shantan, and DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. King went out of crown. A king without a crown. King without a crown. A king without a crown. King without a crown. A king without a crown. King without a Laid back, let it knock, going back, and I love my city. My city. Got a heart like Pac for the block, but your boy big and black like Biggie, like Biggie. Got the dope boys with me, got the dope boys with me. So the pro pro see me, see me. And they gotta pull me over, cause they think I'm riding around with the faux faux with me. I don't do it for the glory, I don't do it for the glory. Boy, I do it for the king. And I don't bang for the hood. But I do it for the streets. I do it. And I do it for my mama. I do it. All the nights she sleep. And I do it for my kids. Cause my kids gotta eat Granny in the kitchen, granny in the kitchen Ripping them turnips, turnips She told me God got me, got me I told her I turn up, turn up Over beats I turn up, turn up In the streets I turn up, turn up Matter of fact, I'ma change my name from the one You can call me turn up Whatever you thinking, that you believing I am, I'm not, I'm not Unless you thinking, that you believing I am, I'm high, I'm high Set this world on fire, fire You can feel the heat you die for that crown, my I throw see. my crown on the ground and place it at your feet. While I'm out here trying to get it, make sure all my people leave. I'm never down for the cow, and I'll never know the fee. I'm mobbing through the city, and these people watching me. But I'm a king without a crown, a king without a crown. Pump, hey. 
transmission stepping, we stay. Yeah. Rent a little late, we stray. Yeah. Cause mama made sure we ate. I was about nine years old when my daddy got found. New strap around his neck in the attic of the house. New thing that the devil would grill. That's the blood congealed. He kept the weapon concealed. You swear to God, he had gills. Reptilian, cold blooded killer, and his codependent look familiar. Say it look like me. Say it look like me. Bible says that Jesus sent out 12 disciples. Two by two. Two by two. Yo, son, tell them what we do. Man, it's the mission field with the track stars. Ryan Rice and Sean Tanner. Get into it.